Waiting on case reviews and appeals, some unemployed Virginians say they feel they're at a standstill with the Virginia Employment Commission. Last night at 11, we introduced you to two women who sued the VEC for overdue unemployment benefits, and it worked. Investigative reporter Evan Watson breaks down the new push for payments. Our investigation showed frustrated workers are willing to sue for unemployment benefits. Others are now considering it, saying they need to get the VEC's attention. If I had known what type of lawyer to pursue, I would have done that. But I did it on my own. I just went through my notes and I did my research and declined, declined, declined. Yvette Bass Knight Little has challenged unemployment claim denials from the Virginia Employment Commission since the pandemic started. Her event planning business shut down when all events were canceled. She says the VEC would tell her something was wrong with her claim. She'd fix that, and then another problem would pop up. Taking me through a ringer of really, really a lot of um, events that I thought were not fair, and they weren't part of the process. Bass Knight Little says she's now thinking about filing a civil complaint for benefits. She watched how it worked for Lakeisha Madlock and Deidre Bird and believes that's her next move. I just felt once I saw the segment last night, I said, there is hope. There are other people out there that are experiencing the same thing. And I, it's not fair. It's not fair. The VEC says there's still a backlog of case reviews and adjudications. The commission has significantly increased staffing to meet the demand over the past year, but unemployed workers say it's very difficult to reach a staff member to get help with their claim. I really didn't want to, to pursue that unless I really had to. So now it's more of a personal thing for me. Um, what's right is right, and I don't feel that you know, they're handling this the right way. So, yes, I, I feel like I need to do something else. In Norfolk, Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. And remember, if there's ever an issue you want Evan to look into, let him know. You can email investigate at 13newsnow.com or simply reach out on social media.